guys, it's Sarah. Um, excuse the way I look and the lighting situation and I have a dog in here and there's a train. But I have a really huge haul to share with you guys and it's really like now or never. So yeah. I have some stuff that I acquired that you guys have never seen before. Um, I ordered a the December boxy charm. So if you guys want to see like what's in it, let me know down below and I will add it to um, next month's boxy charm video because I don't have my April box. It got sent to my old address. So I'm maybe when those two come in, I'll just unbox all three of them next month. Not really sure. But yeah, I have a trip to um, Ulta. I'm placed on Mac. I got some ColourPop. I have some Victoria's Secret. I have some stuff I placed. I got at Walmart. A um, couple Sephora's that I say that. But yeah, like let's get into it. First, let's go over the ColourPop since it's right here. Um, I ordered this when I was on a layover in, where was I? Denver, in Denver, because I ha wanted to pick up the Kathleen Lights foursome. Um, I've never used any of the Color sh ColourPop Super Shock Shadows before, and so I wanted to try it. Um, it is gorgeous. Um, I will link her video down below where she goes over it because she's going to be able to explain it way better than I can. But I'm so happy I got my hands on this. And I also wanted to try one of their um, cheek colors and I got the shade Prenup. I know you can't really tell the shades and stuff because I have shite lighting right now. But I wanted to try it. Um, so yeah, it's pretty nice. I haven't used it, haven't even like touched them yet, but I'm excited for those. And then I did pick up a lippy stick and a lippy pencil, um, both in this shade uh, Lumiere because again, Kathleen Lights created it. And I wanted to get it when it first released, but I had just bought all my other ColourPop stuff and I wasn't going to place an order just for this. So yeah, I'm excited to have those. So that's one thing down. Next, let's go on to MAC. Um, I ordered some stuff from MAC originally because I wasn't going to take part in the Sephora VIB sale because there were some things that I wanted that I wanted to try and I limited myself to only spending however much. So I got two mineralized skin finishes, uh, one in Perfect Topping and one in Light Scapade. Um, I think these both are the ones from the collection. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not really that like up with MAC products. I'm trying to, I really want to add more to my collection, but this is perfect topping. I think it's from that lightness of whatever collection because it has like the pattern on it and all the other ones were smooth. So that was perfect topping. And then this one is light scapade, which I guess is different than the normal light scapade one. I don't know, I was just really interested and I had one of these for a while, so finally picked them up. Then also from MAC, I picked up a concealer. I got the Studio Finish Concealer in NW20. Uh, it's a little like pot. If you saw my last Project Pan update, which would be update number two, because uh, I haven't done number three yet, even though it was supposed to go up last week. It's not going up until next week, just because I didn't, like, use my products that much. And so I didn't want to just show you guys no progress. But anyways, back to this concealer. Um, it's a potted concealer. I got NW20 because that's my actual, like, skin tone. So I can use this on blemishes and under the eyes. Then, last from MAC, I got a lipstick. I got the Viva Glam Miley. Oh, this is the first Viva Glam lipstick I've ever purchased, and I don't know. I think it will be nice for summer. So that's all from MAC. What do we want to talk about now? What do we talk about now? Um, let's talk about the stuff I picked up at Walmart. Yeah, this is a super cluster funked video, but what can you do? I picked up both of the e.l.f. Studio... Um, blush palettes and light and dark. I contemplated taking these back because 
I mean, I don't need eight more blushes, but I think those these would be nice to have, especially for like um, traveling. It's smaller than my some of my other like face and cheek palettes, so I got those. Then I also picked up the NYC Sun and Bronze Bronzing Powder in Montauk Bronze. I've heard a lot of people talk about this, and um, I definitely didn't need another bronzer, but I decided to pick it up. Then also from e.l.f., I picked up the Small Stipple Brush. I'm sure you guys have seen this a million times. Um, just so this way maybe I can use it with the ColourPop, or I do have a couple Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blushes that I just use with my finger and I don't really care for it that way, so I got this to use with those. And then last from Walmart, I picked up this L.A. Tan Luxury Sunless Mousse Black Bronzing Dark 2-3 to three Week Tan Streak Free Instant Color Black bronzers clearly I don't have it on right now because I am pale 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 but I got this and I wanted to try it um, let's see what it smells like I don't think I've smelt it ooh it smells like um fruit stripe gum that's what this smells like so uh huh now I'm interested actually to try that but do you see that creep right there? Bentley. Bentley. Look at that creep. Look at that creep. No, you leave that dog alone. That dog's a jerk. You don't bark at him. Okay, then I placed two orders on Sephora for the VIB sale. Uh, let's go over the first order first. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, I wanted to pick up a couple things. First one being I really wanted to get the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance baked powder in 01 highlight. I've been lusting after this for a while and I decided with this sale might as well pick it up. Uh, the theme of this haul is definitely going to be highlighters because I bought way too many but that's what it looks like if you haven't seen it. Again shitty lighting but I'm really excited to use this. So there's that guy. Then on that trip I also picked up the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Moonstone. Because I just wanted it. I didn't need any of these things, but I definitely wanted them. So I picked them up for the sale. And there is Moonstone. I'm sure you guys have seen that again a million times. Then last for my first trip... I got uh, Benefits Coralista. This was like the only Benefit boxed uh, blush that I didn't have, so I picked it up. Then I also got some samples and I cashed in pretty much all my points. First sample, Versace um, Pour Home, Marc Jacobs Daisy, and then just the regular Marc Jacobs. Um, never tried any of these, so I decided to pick them. Then I also cashed in all my points because I think I'm no longer going to shop at Sephora. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think so, but we'll see. Um, so I've cashed in some points. This is the Lancome Genifique Concentrate Activatia Youth Activating Concentrate. Better Than Sex Deluxe Eye Sample. A fresh Soy Face Cleanser. Uh, this Clinique Moisture Surge Intense Cream Gel. Um, I got this Gucci Guilty um, Pour Home Fragrance. This is the Men's. Um, I got this because my husband wears it. So I can smell it since he's gone. And then I got this Living Proof Style Lab Instant Texture Mist. Um, I don't really like freshly washed hair. So I'm always trying to get something in it to make it look like it's been alive. So I got that. What, baby? Hi, little girl. Nobody's gonna even see you. You're short. You're short. Can you see, can you see this Lily girl? Hi, oh, baby. Hi, it's my mom's dog, Lily. Second order to Sephora. I only placed it because it came back in stock. It's the Marc Jacobs Instamark Light Filtering Contour Palette. This is in 40 um, Mirage Filter. I guess it's supposed to make you look like you edited yourself on Instagram. You know, everybody's coming out with the powders that make you look like you're selfie ready and all that kind of stuff without the actual picture. But I wanted to pick this up because I really was drawn to these shades. 
I saw a couple reviews about it and these are like the only two shades that I use from like the Anastasia contour kit and so instead of getting a contour kit that has more colors that I'm not going to use um, I decided to just go ahead and invest in getting this guy so I'm really excited not going to be using him until my Anastasia powders are out but I mean just had to get him and he came back in stock so that was good then with that, I've also got three more perfume samples. Got another Versace Pour Home, YSL, La Home Sport, and then Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black. Then I had gone to Ulta and I bought some stuff because there was the 20% off coupon, but it wasn't exactly all the stuff I wanted. So then I got an email saying that like I could use the 20% off on an online purchase as well. So what I originally went for was this, um, the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone and Opal. These are the liquids or, yeah, liquid. Why does this do this? Why does it do this? So I got Opal and Moonstone to go with my opal and moonstone powders I should have just got moonstone from Ulta but I didn't oh, wait no this one was moonstone and this is opal so I got both of those because I really like the way my Maybelline color tattoo in Bailey branded goes on the cheeks but that's not gonna last forever so these probably will so I got those really excited to use them so those are what I went for and then they did not have Becca in my Ulta so I actually picked up some other things. I ended up taking some things back because I ended up making the online purchase. You know, like, do you guys do this when you go shopping? You have like a set amount of how much you're willing to spend um, when you go on your shopping trip. And then if the things you have in mind aren't there, you fill in with other stuff to hit that total. Like, is that weird? Is that only me? Like, I don't know. But okay, what I got in store. I got this Benefit One Hot Bomba um, set. It comes with the Bella Bomba blush and a lip gloss so I'm excited about these I have the Bella Bomba little sample and I really liked it so I'm glad I found it because I don't think they sell this any other way so glad about that then I also picked up this Real Techniques Bold Metals Collection 300 tapered blush brush I was really interested in this because I saw a lot of reviews on it and um, I'm not happy with any of the blush brushes that I have so I wanted to try this one Again, with 20% off, that's a pretty expensive brush. It's like $25 retail, I'm pretty sure. Then I picked up two scrubs, two Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrubs, one in Brazilian Nut and one in Coconut Lime. Never used these before, but with the sale, um, I wanted to try them out. Then the last thing I got was this Best of Becca kit. Which, they don't have Becca at my Ulta, but they have this kit. Does that, that doesn't make sense to me, but. It comes with a shimmering skin perfector in rose gold, oppressed in rose gold, a shimmering skin perfector spotlight in opal, a beach tint in guava, and a beach tint shimmering souffle in watermelon moonstone. <laughs> so even though I had this spotlight before I bought the full size, um, I want this for travel, so I'm really happy about that. And these are all so cute. This is the first time I opened them. I didn't know they were this tiny and so wonderful. Ooh, this is the rose gold. I thought about getting this in the full size and I'm glad I didn't because I don't, this will have to be like a blush for me or something because that's pretty pigmented. So yeah, that was everything I got at Ulta. I did get a couple of samples when I went online couple paper samples of perfume, Dolce & Gabbana on Dolce, and then Lancome La Vie Vestibelle. I think that's how you say it. I don't know, I suck at like saying everything. And then um, Retinol Serum and a hand healer. So that's that. Now on to what I got at Victoria's Secret. Um, I placed an order because I had one of those secret rewards cards because I got some underwear when my sister and niece came to Vegas. And I really wanted to pick up this cologne. 
Um, it's the very sexy platinum for him. I got this because I bought this for my husband probably a couple months ago and he would wear it all the time and now I have it so I can spray it when I miss him. So got that. It's probably pretty corny but whatever. Then along with that if you made like a $65 or something like beauty purchase you got this free like weekender tote and travel like pouchy thing. So I picked up three of these Victoria's Secret Hydrating Body Lotions. Um, I got these uh, because I don't really have that many like summery smells in my stock of lotions I have now. Wait, you knocked it all down. Really? So I got Beach, Surfside, and Paradise. Yeah, Paradise. So I got these three. Uh, they are smaller than the Bath and Body Works ones, but they smell really good. So I'm excited to just use these in summer. Then I picked up this bathing suit pouch. Um, I didn't know that it was see-through when I was ordering it online, but um, I got this one for bathing suits if I ever wear a bathing suit again. But mainly I got it for taking it to the gym and for days when I need to like shower there I can put my sweaty gym clothes in here and like keep it away from everything else so that way it doesn't stink up my whole bag and get everything gross and disgusting oh the lotions also came in these little like foamy like things like thank you Victoria's Secret like I can appreciate that then I got this water bottle I think it's like 32 ounces <laughs> Yes, it's 32 ounces, and it just says, I hate running. It's bright pink. It's not really, it's coming off orange on camera, but it is like a neon pink. Got it to stay hydrated. I got two pairs, or I got a set of knee-high socks. Nothing really special. And then I did pick up another pullover zippy thing, like what I'm wearing right now. Um, this one is for the angels. And it says, bring it home. My husband is a huge Angels fan. Um, I used to be a diehard Indians fan, so I just kind of rep both. But yeah, that's everything that I just recently purchased. Now I have some stuff here that I bought um, amongst my travels that you guys haven't seen, and I thought you might be interested. So first I got this Real Tree for her Eau de Toilette spray. Um, I got this, again, because my husband has the man one and I wanted the girl one. Um, I guess we'll do all the scents now. Um, I have this Hollister Paradise Beach Body Mist. My niece actually gave this to me. Then I bought some Bath & Body Works scents because I don't really have that many. So I have Oahu Coconut Sunset, um, Peach Blossom Air, uh, Brown Sugar and Fig, Black Raspberry Vanilla, Peach and Honey Almond, Sunshine and, or no, Love and Sunshine, uh, French Lavender and Honey, and Velvet Sugar. Um, I got a couple of them, plus the Wild Madagascar Vanilla at the BX because they were like having a really good sale. It was like 4 for 15 or something like that. So I had to get it. And then Beth, um, Beth and Body Works like online was having a really good sale. And there was like a 20% off coupon or something. So that's why I picked up the rest of those. And then I also got two of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte foundations. I got 01 and 02. I originally just picked up 02. But it's a little dark. And so I got the 01. Haven't really tried them. Just kind of tested the color. Then I also got the Maybelline Master Conceal Face Concealer, oh no, by Face Studio, um, in shade 20 Light. I got the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, I bought this in a full size um, because I cracked under the pressure of cuteness of the vending machine and I wanted to try this. Um, I also got um, Dandelion, also because it was one that I didn't have, um, I guess I wanted to have all the Benefit box powders. Then I got the Physician's Formula Natural Nude Shimmer Brick. Is that what this is called? Shimmering Strips. Um, 
a lot of people were talking about this I got it because I liked it better than any of the other actual shimmer strips and I don't have very many drugstore highlights and then I also picked up a Maybelline color tattoo hi in creamy beige even though I came back and I looked at my collection and I already have one so guess which color tattoo is going in my next project pan this one yeah that's everything um sorry this video was all over the place sorry there was dogs um i just wanted to get this filmed so i could share this with you guys because it really, really what it really was now or never and i need to figure out a better filming situation because this is bad this is bad. anyways <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching thank you to everyone who has been subscribing welcome to my channel for all you new people um, sorry that I look like, uh, poop still, but, hey, what can you do? Just trying to keep it real sometimes. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bentley, get down. Thank you. Bentley, get out of stuff. Ladies, let's knock it off, okay? Jeez, my phone is blowing up. Three dogs? Anybody? Or just two dogs? You can have the girl dogs. I'll keep the boy dog, but these girl dogs. <sighs> Yikes. But